This is extreme meteorologist Reed Timmer monitoring a potential tornado outbreak tomorrow across northwestern Illinois into eastern Iowa, possibly far northeastern Missouri. A very intense Colorado low or mid-latitude cyclone is going to eject from the high plains and rapidly deepen by this time tomorrow. That surface low will likely be in the upper 980s and just to the east of that powerful low there's going to be an intense low level jet. A warm front is going to lift north through central Illinois to the northwestern part of the state and along that warm front wind shear is going to be substantial and as well down to the south of that warm front there's also going to be favorable low level shear for even a strong tornado threat. The strong tornado threat is going to be maximized across northwestern Illinois into eastern Iowa. That's where very strong wind shear is going to be in place. Multiple supercells, numerous supercells likely producing tornadoes will move through this area starting at around midday probably in eastern Iowa, northeastern Missouri, and those storms are going to be moving very rapidly. Uh, 50 or 60 miles an hour at least these storms are, are going to be moving. So with that strong tornado threat, these supercells are also going to be moving very rapidly tomorrow, and those will develop again as I mentioned midday and wave after wave of supercells are possible tomorrow across central northwestern Illinois eastern Iowa back into far northeastern Missouri all ingredients are in place for a substantial severe weather outbreak and right now there still is severe weather just off to my west in southeastern Missouri there's a severe thunderstorm warning with a supercell that has shown some broad rotation that's in association with that warm front that is lifting north through Missouri and will continue to lift north through central Illinois tonight bringing with it a threat of severe weather and even an isolated tornado threat overnight tonight but that tornado threat is going to ramp up big time tomorrow afternoon and that's why it's very important for you to stay tuned to those watches and warnings have a safety plan in place for your family because tomorrow is about as dangerous as it gets in terms of severe weather.